Okay, y'all. Here we are again. This, to me, is amazing. Okay? Now, I have been so disorganized. And I have not... That's really not me. I mean, maybe it's the new me, but I don't like it. I don't like how it makes me feel. And I don't like how it looks. So... We're going to do something about that. And I've started with my little closet um, that I keep stuff in right there in the project room. Now, I've had a little bit of this and a little bit of that and some of my baking stuff and, you know, my um, instant pot. Excuse me, Miss Hazel. Um, so, let me tell you, you know how I feel about these things oh first of all let me show you this i love this thing and one of these days i'm gonna get another one now it's so handy for your uh arts and crafts i guess um for me, the top part, I keep an X-Acto knife, a little pair of scissors, a needle and thread, a couple of doggy bags, um, my, uh, I was going to say my soldering iron, but my uh, gun, my wax thingy, and um, a couple other little things in there. And I, I have a little six inch measuring thing. I have a little level. I have um, a pen and a pencil. So um, I have all that in the top level. Now, you might be asking, why on earth does she have doggy bags in there? Well, I'm gonna tell you. Because y'all know uh, some of my favorite things to use are, y'all got to come up here just a little bit. Some of my favorite things, boy, I don't have a, you know, helper to help me with this, um, are command hooks. I hate to pound a nail in the wall. Sometimes you can't help it, but I used these itty bitty little things to hang a bunch of my Christmas lights. And they're clear. And so here's the little things that stick to them. The black is always the wall and the blue always goes on the little hook part. Now these are clear when you take the paper off. That's why I keep a couple of little doggy bags in this container because when you peel those little things off, then you got a little trash bag right there. Okay. Um, next, I love these little hooks. I use them for a lot of things. Y'all know that I have some underneath my kitchen cabinet. Um, they come in clear, colored, and white. These are for pictures that hang by a wire in the back. And you have to make sure that you have enough picture that comes up high enough that it hides this part. Uh, let me see. This little... Um, part of my carry-all, I guess you would call it, has little compartments in it. And I like that for my smaller hooks. Now, I've got some of these under my cabinets, um, on the cabinet doors. Y'all remember when I did that project? I just, I mean, I love these things, y'all. I use them everywhere. Now, they come in pretty little things like that. Y'all know this stuff. You're familiar with uh, command hooks. I do love the clear ones. Okay, now then. 
check him out. I mean, that's a big hook. And the I'm going to show you. Now, that's the size next to him. And you can see how this part just kind of comes up like that. And that's a very good thing. Now, I'm going to show you. This is so cool. This guide, it tells you the different size strips that goes on the hooks, how many pounds it holds. The big one, this guy right here, five pounds. The next one is three pounds, and the one next to that is a pound. And then my, uh, let's see, the little wire ones that I use a lot of, half a pound. Well, my measuring cups and spoons and whatnot, they don't weigh a half a pound. So that's plenty heavy. Then they have some medium ones like those, and they hold two pounds. So y'all, almost anything that um, you could want to hang, you can find a hook for it. Now, of course, you know, the most marvelous thing about these hooks are that when you don't want them where they're at anymore or you screwed them up, not that I'm... <laughs> That's a little foreign language just between me and somebody else here in the community. <laughs> anyway, if you mess them up, you can pull that tab and it will release the hook and not hurt your wall. Now, let me show you some things that I am hanging. This is how this is how it works for me. If I can get to something easily, then I'm going to use it more. If I have to go in and pull things up or pull things out and I've got to dig for something, I'm probably not going to use it or not very often. Oh, she went to sleep. Okay. I'm working on, I'm going to call that my pantry. It's not a pantry because it doesn't have food in it. It's my little kitchen closet. Now, here's some examples. I'm working on the door. The inside of the door is a wonderful wonderful place to hang things. And it gives you more horizontal space. That is... That closet is looking so much better. It's not done, but it's looking good. Okay. You see my sifter? Yep. Got a hook for it. Let's see. What else? My little strainer or sifter. Anything that has a hole in it. You can hang it. Now, there are three of these sifters. Now, this is the baby one. And then they go all the way up to a pretty good size one. Do I want them nested? No, I don't. I want them all hanging side by side. Okay. Right there. My baby colander. He's got a hook. He's hanging. Y'all know that Leo and Maria uh, gave me four pieces of Farberware. Um, two uh, cake pans, a 9 by 13 pan, and a cookie sheet. So, here's the thing, y'all. You see this? These are heavy. You see this big lip right here? I'll bet you anything that my friend, Jerry, can drill me a hole in there. 
I bet he can. And then these can hang. Both of them. What does that mean? More horizontal space. There's a lot of things that I have, y'all, that have lips on them. Uh, my muffin pan, same thing. Okay. My frying pans. Lynn, if you're watching, sweetie, I love my pan. So, I guess y'all get the drift, okay? Now, if I use the inside of that door, then um, that gives me so much space in that closet. And not only that, I don't have to dig for anything. I open the closet door. I lift off my frying pan. I lift off my saucepan. I lift off whatever I have hanging there. Wall space on the inside. Oh yeah, covered in hooks. I love it so much. See, that's really me, y'all. That is, uh, I've always been like it. Uh, like that, an organizer, whether it's paperwork, which I don't do that anymore. I hate it with a passion. But, you know, my kitchen, underneath the sink, underneath the cabinets, I mean, and nothing is better than this. Now, yes, you can't. These are a bit pricey, y'all. And, and I know that. And what I do is... If I make an order from Walmart or an order from Amazon, I try to include one package of some of this. And um, I, they come with, say they come with eight hooks, they'll come with 10 or 11 or 12, uh, you know, sticky things. And that way, like yesterday when I was working on that door, I put two of them where I changed my mind. So I had the extra tabs so I could replace them and put them somewhere different. Now, um, I could go on and on and on about this, but I'm not, okay? How many minutes have I got? 12 minutes. Okay, now this is the most difficult part, but I'm determined, y'all. When uh, Terry and I were at Walmart the other day, day before yesterday, I think, I picked this up. Can y'all see what that is? It's kind of, it's, it's rubbery on one side. It's textured. You can find this in so many different uh, pretty patterns and stuff. Now, this was the prettiest one that I could find. And, of course, this is Pioneer Woman. Uh, but this is what I'm going to try to do with this. Now, the hooks will not stick to this. Okay. And the whole reason for this is I am going to cover the inside of that door. I'm going to attempt to, okay? Because you don't want your pots and pans banging on that wooden door. But here's the problem. It's not hanging this stuff. This is easy. It's cutting. It's making cutouts around these hooks. Now, if y'all have a better idea, please let me know. And I know I'm going to, they're not going to be perfect. But if I put this on the door and then I draw around each one of these hooks and then I cut them out so when I hang that back up, it's going to fit around the hooks. Get on your knees and pray.
okay? Because I'm here to tell you, yesterday I was practicing on some cardboard. And I took a hook and I traced around it, okay? And I made a little cardboard, uh, uh, not mold, but you see what I'm talking about right here? And then, where is that? Oh, of course I don't have any in here. Oh, there it is right there. Could have bit me. I, I took some of my old stuff and I cut, I had a bigger piece of it and I cut this part out and then I put it up on the hook. It's hard to explain, I know. Imagine a big piece with that part cut out. And then I, I put it on, you get the idea. Well now, a couple of them turned out okay and uh, more than a couple of them didn't. And here's one of the reasons why. If you, if you cut out this whole part right here, it's going to be too big. And this is why. On the back, you have this little space up at the top. And so when you set that piece up there, it slides down a little bit. And so that means you've got too big of a cutout piece on the bottom. Now that's a problem. That is a problem. And I, I tried to um, cut my, uh, I tried to, to cut my whole like a little bit smaller down there. So y'all, this is really, I mean, I, I will show y'all when I get it done. But um, I'm going to tell you, um, that's going to be a challenge for me. Now, I'd give anything if those hooks would stick to that vinyl. That would just be the most amazing thing. But it won't. I even thought about super gluing them on there. Or using some of that 6,000 glue. I, it, it just won't work. I mean, that slick vinyl... And nothing is going to stick to that. I could put a screw through there, maybe. No, no, no. That's getting crazy. Um, but you know how I am. I want it to be pretty. And just my shelf paper in there, that that's no padding. There's no padding to that. So, if y'all have any ideas and email me or talk about it in the comments or both djdits54 at gmail.com um it's it's worrying me y'all i y'all know i'm not good with math and doing measurements and all of that stuff because i thought okay what I really need to do is I need to put my placement of my hooks, measure them from the, from the edge in, how far they're going to be, put a line up there where the top of the hook is going to be, do the same on the other ones, and then cut them out. Do you have any idea how much money Pioneer Woman would make off of me? Now, I believe this big roll of stuff was like $5 and, I don't know, 35 cents. The sun's coming out. Um, and, y'all, I, I don't want to... Uh, go crazy and spend a lot of money. Now, I thought about uh, quilting fabric would help with the noise thing, but it's the same thing. I'd have to cut out of that. I'd have to cut, you know, 
and measure, and then you're going to have, unless you sewed around the edges of all those holes, you're going to have batting sticking out. Yeah, things like this. That's why I have to read when I go to bed to shut the brain cell down and stop thinking about all of this. So if y'all have any ideas, please let me know. But I am telling you, if I had not had a pretty good collection of these um, command hooks, you think I wouldn't use nails or screws? I most certainly would. I would not let uh, the uh, not having of the... Co Good Lord, have mercy. Somebody said they think I should go see my doctor because she's going to tell me I have Alzheimer's. Well, honey, when I start hiding my keys in my underwear and putting the milk in the oven, I'll go get a checkup. I'm just goofy. I'm just ditzy. Been that way 65 years. Um, but anyway, y'all, I would not let that stop me. You can buy a can of spray paint, for instance. Now, I know this is kind of crazy, but you could spray paint yourself some nails to make them prettier. All you got to do is get a piece of cardboard, better yet, a piece of styrofoam, poke your nails in a little bit, hold that sucker up, turn your styrofoam, give it a little paint, thin, thin coats, and put two or three coats on there. You'd have pretty nails. Drive them in a little bit at an angle. You could hang your frying pan. There are economical ways to do everything. And I can tell you, I used to come up with some pretty decent ideas. You want a pretty rack, a pretty little key thing to hang your keys up on? You can cover that with fabric, a piece of board, screw in your cup hooks. You could paint on it freehand if you're talented. Um, there's a lot you just have to think. You look at something or there's something that you want, like a key thing. And then you just try to figure out, do I have anything that I could uh, make that out of? Um, ask your neighbors. You got a little piece of wood you're not using? Now, I could get some from Leo over here. Um, you just got to think about that stuff, y'all. And you can come up with some cute stuff. And let me tell you, there are some awesome DIY channels on YouTube. And Pinterest, I don't go on there because I get lost for days on there. I, I, it's scary to me. But um, do something. It's so much fun. It is so much fun. Stephanie gave me a big green wreath. It's plain. And I did not get around to decorating that. But sometime I do want to do that. And, you know, now would be a really good time to go to places like Hobby Lobby, Walmart, um, anywhere, and get Christmas decorations now. They're like 75% off. The only real thing that I would like to have next year is my lights not on a green wire. I've got a couple strands that are on a white wire, but one of them is warm lights and the other one is bright lights. So, that's it for this video. One of these days, and I'm going to wait a little bit for some emails 
for some suggestions from you crafty folks on the best way I can do that without messing it up. I want it to be pretty when I open the door. I really would have loved to have been able to use my shelf paper because I love that stuff so much. But they don't make that in the, you know, the, the rubber. Or I, that's what I would have gotten. But anyway, um, it's for my pleasure. It, you know, how many people are going to come in this cottage, except for my Pennsylvania pals, and open up the door to the kitchen closet and see that paper? Now, I got two big command things, and those are going to go on the door of the hall closet to hang my brooms. I'm getting sick of Deborah Joy's disasters everywhere I look. It doesn't have to be that way. And it's not. And I'm going to show y'all as I go along what I'm doing. I love the emails that we uh, share with each other with. And that gives me an opportunity to wait a day or two and see if y'all have a suggestion that I can use. Some of them I love, some of them I won't. Who cares? Send them to me, and I'll talk about them in a video. Now, there's a special... No, I'm not going to say that. I love y'all. Thank you so much for hanging in here, and um, I hope you do something fun today. I've already done psh, several fun things, so I'll talk to y'all later. Bye now. See my girl? Now, what do you think? You think I'm going to get up and disturb her? That's why I've got my phone over here. I've got my tablet over here. I haven't even been playing solitaire, y'all. So, I'll talk to you. Actually, I'm going to talk to Justin in a few minutes. Bye, y'all.